the National Radio and Television Administration, is a ministry-level executive agency directly under the State Council of the People's Republic of China. Its main task is the administration and supervision of state-owned enterprises engaged in the television and radio industries. It directly controls state-owned enterprises at the national level such as China Central Television, China National Radio, China Radio International, as well as other movie and television studios and others non-business organizations. In 1986 the Ministry of Culture Film Bureau and the Ministry of Radio and Television merged to form the Ministry of Radio, Film and Television. On 25 June 1998 the Ministry of Radio, Film and Television reorganized as the State Administration of Radio, Film and Television. In March 2013 the State Council announced plans to merge State Administration of Radio, Film and Television with the General Administration of Press and Publication to form the State Administration of Press and Publication, Radio, Film and Television. In March 2018, the SAPPRFT was abolished and functions of the movie. Press and Publication Industry Regulation is subordinated to the Communist Party of China Central Committee's Publicity Department instead of the State Council. The official functions of SARFT are, in its role of providing the physical infrastructure for broadcasting the NRTA plays a similar role in China as TDF Group plays in France, or Crown Castle plays in the US or Australia. It owns and operates, as well as manages many thousands of MW, FM, TV and shortwave relay transmitters in China. Recently, the SARFT has decided to switch over to using ALLISS technology for international broadcasting in CNN Asia. SARFT's ALLISS deployment The ALLISS system is a fully rotatable antenna system for high power. Shortwave radio broadcasting in the 6 MHz to 26 MHz range. An ALLISS module is a self-contained shortwave relay station that is used for international broadcasting. ALLISS is a special design case of our type antennas. True ALLISS systems have solid radiators versus tension flexible radiators found with all other variations of ITU hours type antennas systems. The names is based on a concatenation of two French villages A.L. Lewis and I.S. Sodung. China Multimedia Mobile Broadcasting, developed by T. Me Tech, a company formed by the Chinese Academy of Broadcasting Science. Announced in October 2006, it has been described as being similar to Europe's DVBSH standard for digital video broadcast from both satellites and terrestrial gap fillers to handheld devices. It specifies usage of the 2.6 GHz frequency band and occupies 25 MHz bandwidth within which it provides 25 video and 30 radio channels with some additional data channels. Multiple companies have chips that support CMMB standard NFID who was the first with a solution March 28, 2007, Ciano Mobile Silicon and more. The NRTA issues mandatory guidelines for media content. In 2011 and 2012 it limited the number of reality television programs and of historical dramas, expressing particular disapproval of programs with a plot twist that involved time travel back to a Chinese historical era. This decree resulted in cancellation of a number of planned films with historical drama plots. It issued a directive on 30 March 2009 to highlight 31 categories of content prohibited online, including violence. Pornography, content which may incite ethnic discrimination or undermine social stability. Some industry observers believe that the move was designed to stop the spread of parodies or other comments on politically sensitive issues in the run up to the anniversary of the 4th of June Tiananmen Square protests. It issued a directive named SAPPRFT's opinions on strengthening the program management of satellite television channels in 2011 aiming at overturning the overemphasis on purely entertainment programs in the satellite television channels in China. For every quarter, the SAPPRFT announces the outstanding domestic animated television productions. The initial nominees are selected by the province-level administrative departments of broadcast and television.
and the China Central Television. Then, the SAPPRFT invites the relevant broadcasting organizations, experts and audience representatives to review the nominees and make the finalist once the list is finalized. The television broadcasters in mainland China, especially nationwide generalist channels and animation and children's channels on satellite, and children's channels on terrestrial television, are recommended to give priority when broadcasting such series.